Now that the community in Omaha and really the nation has gotten a glimpse of Carrie's life and has gotten to know her, I see her legacy as that of breaking down barriers. And how do we move that on? Well, for one, for those who have never met a police officer, you now know one, Officer Carrie Orozco, and I cannot think of a better representation of our profession than Officer Orozco. She was a wife, a mother, and a police officer who loved her community. Today, Officer Carrie Orozco, who was killed in the line of duty, was laid to rest. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. One thing that we have heard over and over again today, Officer Orozco lived a life of service, and it's clear she meant so much to so many. And we have team coverage of today's final goodbye. Brandon Scott with the final moments of today's ceremony at St. Joseph's Cemetery. Aaron Murray spoke to the people lining the streets in support. And Joe Chiotto spoke with officers from across the nation, explaining why they had to be here. But John Chapman leads off our coverage with the powerful service, which was watched by thousands. Quick march! A wave of blue from across the country, all marching in to pay their respects for a fallen officer. It's incredible that when you hear of an officer being killed in the line of duty, it's just, it goes out nationwide, the, the ripple effect. Thousands of officers here and they all know they have one thing in common. It could be us tomorrow, the next traffic stop, the next walk around the corner of a house. And that's again, one of the reasons we really wanna show support is because tomorrow it could be us. Inside the CenturyLink Center, all of her brothers and sisters in blue get a big screen look at Officer Carrie Orozco's life, a life that was cut short while she was working to protect us. Officer Orozco viewed herself as a guardian, as a friend of the community. She wanted to protect and be there for the city in times of need. Officer Orozco served the community in many ways, giving people the chance to see through the blue and through the badge. The greatest aspect of knowing Carrie and she got people to look past the fact that she was a police officer. She had a way of connecting and getting you to see past the uniform and to see her just as a person. She readily accepted the role of being a police officer, a role model, and believed in giving back to the community. Her life's impact, of course, started with her inner family, her inner circle, family and friends. In Officer Orozco's passing, there is hope that maybe she can still work for this community by bringing it closer together. With photographer Dustin Dales, John Chapman, WWT 6 News. We heard from Omaha Police Chief Todd Smotter. He called Officer Carrie Orozco many things, officer, detective, and friend. And those who knew her knew Carrie Orozco held strong to her faith. And as her priests were called today, she had a strong sense of humor as well. Carrie, trying to play some practical jokes on people. That laughter is a part of who we are. I regret that I can't give it to you as well. But no, that's a part of who Carrie is. And her family truly wants this time of sorrow and tears to fade and there to be a lasting smile for the contributions Carrie's made to the world.